Bob, we're rehearsing here. I walked through the whole town and I met some really nice ladies at Josie's and they brought me in and gave me pizza and I'm staying at the cutest place ever which is bigger than my apartment in New York and people have been so nice like do you have enough food I was like lady I've got more food in my hotel room than I have in my apartment yeah. um, so it's really 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 charming I didn't think it would be this hilly yeah. I was expecting flat you know uh, well yeah, Becky being the director was the first you know my first look at the project, and then when I read the script, I thought it was really, really great and has a lot of heart, and it's really kind of a sweet story that um, so many, you know, people go through that awkward kind of teen year thing, and um, it was just something that I could relate to, and I thought it was well written, and um, I, it's always fun to be part of a kind of an independent movie kind of thing because there's so much collaboration because you don't have a million people working on it you get to kind of do more than you normally would like I got to like pick out my own wardrobe and go shopping for it which some people were like oh you had to do more work I'm like no that's fun because you get to really you know be involved in the creative process so uh, what kind of hopes do you have for this movie um, I think that uh, you know I think right now I think there's so much tension on independent film and I think people really respond to it. I mean, certain, you know, lots of people like the big Hollywood blockbusters, but there's, um, there's kind of a uh, special quality to independent film that people really react to because it is so intimate and it's, um, usually tells maybe a little bit more of an offbeat story. And I think the type of people that like that movie will like this movie. And hopefully, you know, it'll get picked up by some of the festivals and, you know, you just have to wait and see. Like any creative thing, you, you know, try to put your best effort forward and hope that people will respond to it. Or to go direct to video and we could make a fortune like the Olsen twins. <laughs> I was talking to Becky at the audition about how, um, how I, I just, I loved the way she wrote the romance. Mm. Um, very, very subtle, just noticing that the other person's hand is touching yours and how that is just everything and that is the world that, you know, it's the, Experience the first love, mm -hmm. and and um, she was saying, "Well, that's great because you know I've heard you know some people sort of criticize. Oh, it doesn't happen that way. It's the not that's just this sort of you know sugar coated. Uh -huh. not, you know, it's kind of glamorized." Like, what? And she and she agreed. She says, "These people have never experienced romance. Mm -hmm. What is that?" Mm -hmm. And it's just, I love I love her idea of romance. <laughs> I love the way she sees it. It's, I agree. <laughs> That's now you've been girl. acting a long time yes. since you were real young. Since I was three, professionally. That's what I thought. Did you start with commercials? Yes, I did. Uh, the first audition um, that I went on was for um, a commercial for Disney Cruise Line, mm -hmm. and uh, I got that. And I was hired as an extra, but there was a little little exchange between myself and Pluto. Uh -huh. We were having a real good time. And uh, they caught it on camera, and that ended up being the entire commercial. Oh, cool. cool. And so it was just Pluto and I. And uh, my parents thought, huh, maybe this is worth it. Uh -huh. And then we soon realized it was not as easy as that. But luckily, that little stroke of beginner's luck was what mm -hmm. got me here.